guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be comparing American baby products to English baby products. So we have spent a lot of time in America and a lot of time with young children. We first went to America with Harry when he was three months old and we've been on and off for about three months each time so we have spent in total over a year in America within the last three years. So we've got used to the baby products over there and stuff that we can use over here, which also works. Like there's a product here that we use, and but they won't have it in America. So we have to find an alternative and I've got listed the alternatives that we used. So there is one, two, three, five, five items. And then there's other stuff that's the same in both countries. So item number one is baby formula. So in England, we use the Cow and Gate baby formula, which is, you can get it anywhere and everywhere. It's on sale all, everywhere. Um, in America, they don't sell Cow and Gate. They've got so many different types of brands, um, but none of those brands that are in America are over here. I don't know why, I don't know the reasons, but the formula that we found worked best in America for both Harry and Alfie is the Walmart Parents' Choice brand. I will leave a photo somewhere of what it looks like. This is the one that we found was the best for them. We trialed and errored loads of different ones. There's, I can't even really remember the names of the other ones. I know there's like Similac and in uh, some sort of Infamil or whatever, loads of different ones, but the ones that didn't cause any constipation or any gas or colic or anything was Parents Choice and it had a yellow lid, I remember. Yeah, it had a yellow lid and it's the Parents Choice Walmart own brand. <laughs> right, item number two was nappies or the Americans call them diapers. Um, in England, we use the Tesco or Asda own branded nappies for Harry. Couldn't use them for Alfie because he came up in a rash. Um, so for Alfie, we always stick with Pampers and they have Pampers in America anyway. But for Harry, we would use the Walmart own brand again of the Parents' Choice. We found they worked out the best, they were the cheapest, um, they didn't leak. Um, yeah, these worked out the best, whereas with Alfie we had to go for the pair, the um, Pampers Cruisers because they were the softest and most kind to his skin because he gets really, really bad nappy rash with certain types of nappies. So we have to stick with Pampers for him. The next thing is like baby food. We ended up weaning both boys in America and we used the Gerber packets, they come with two in each one, I'll leave a photo like somewhere around here for you guys and we would use them. I loved these baby foods, they go in the stages, um, it goes from really thin to thicker to like little lumps and I love them, they're such a wide choice. Um, when we came back to England I would use the Ella's Kitchen pouches even though here they are quite expensive, they are just the best. The boys liked them the best. They were definitely some of the best ones. We tried um, Alfie more on like the Cow and Gate ones, the, oh my God, the Hip Organic. And there's another one that we tried him on. He didn't eat them. He only ate the Ellis Kitchen ones. Whereas in America, he absolutely loved the Gerber um, baby food. So item number four on my list is actually baby wipes. In England, I use the Huggies Pure, um, but when Harry was little, I used the Tesco's or Asda own brand um, um, fragrance, like, like no fragrance ones. Whereas with Alfie, I used the Huggies ones. And in America, I found baby wipes really difficult to find a decent one they are so expensive over there it's crazy but i found out i would use the walmart own brands again parents choice unfragranced 
very plain nappies. They've got a hard thing needs lids so they stay fresh. And yeah, they were the best ones in my opinion. Walmart is brilliant for baby stuff. If you ever go to America and need to get some baby stuff, go to Walmart. <laughs> and the fifth item, it's not really so much of a baby item, but more of like a toddler kid item, is in America they don't have cordial, like the squash cordial stuff. And we were looking everywhere when we first went over there for it. We couldn't find it at all. Um, the last couple of times we went back, we have found these very little, they are tiny, they're about this big, of like high concentrated liquid juicing. You squirt it in the top of a bottle, you shake it up, you have cordial juice. And Harry loved it, Alfie drank it, because sometimes water can get a bit boring over there. So you add that, and I can't remember what it's called, it's like a water enhancer drink. Um, they have it in most shops, they have it in Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, Target, in most of them sort of shops. So if you go there and you look for it, I'll leave links, I'll leave photos here of what they look like. Um, yeah, they brilliant. Both boys drank them, they come in loads of different varieties and this is the closest thing we've got to squash. And they are also no sugar as well, so brilliant. So they were the five items that come like English versus America and then there's other stuff that like baby products in America that's the same here so like baby shampoo just use Johnson's or Walmart owned brand baby shampoo exactly the same and um, mam dummies they're the same over there and pampers nappies same on either, on either side so yeah they also do like Tommy Tippy juice bottles and um sippy cups so all of that's all the same as well so yeah if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys bye